Good evening, and welcome to the Fairview High School 2021 graduation ceremony. We will start with the processional of our graduates into the gymnasium. Graduate Brooke Avignon. Graduate Jamie Bovert. Graduate Lainey Burns. Graduate Zachary Burns. Graduate Seneca Butch. Graduate Ashley Castleman. Graduate Derek Coates. Graduate Sean Craig. Graduate Paige Davies. Graduate Joelle DeLong. Graduate Madison French. Graduate Rianda Friesen. Graduate Emily Gellich. Graduate Connor Greenhill. Graduate Bodie Johnson. Graduate Karsten Kirschbaumer. Graduate Kyle Kakasha. Graduate Taryn Coyman. Graduate Joseph Labby. Graduate Alexis Lee. Graduate Caden McIntyre. Graduate Janae Moffitt. Graduate Carter Murray. Graduate Dale Ponto. Graduate Emily Richards.
graduate, Dade Scott. Graduate, Rory Sellers. Graduate, Damon Snezarenko. Graduate Haley Steeman. Graduate Aurora Stensrud. Graduate Annika Stridehorst. Graduate Devin Taggart. Graduate Chloe Watchhorn. Graduate Morgan Young. Good evening, graduates, families, staff, and community members. My name is Shannon Fraser. I'm the principal of Fairview High School, and I will be acting as your master of ceremonies this evening. I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the 2021 graduating class. Although it was not possible to all gather together in person, we are still able to celebrate these wonderful graduates through the wonders of modern technology. We respectfully acknowledge that the land on which we gather is located within Treaty 8, a traditional meeting ground and home of the ancestral First People, the Cree and the Diné, as well as the Métis. We are grateful for the traditional knowledge keepers and elders who are still with us today and for those who have gone before us. We recognize the land as an act of reconciliation and gratitude to those whose territory we reside on or are visiting. Would you please rise for the playing of O Canada, Please refrain from singing. You may be seated. Our Ward 6 trustee for the Fairview area, Mrs. Robin Robertson, sends well wish wishes to the graduates. She says, on behalf of the entire board of trustees, we congratulate you and your success in whatever endeavors you take on in the future. It has not possibly been the year you have anticipated, but we still hope you celebrate your work getting here in the, to this moment of graduation. Personally, it's one of my favorite annual activities to attend grad ceremonies in this constituency. To see smiling faces, proud parents, and successful young Albertans ready to go out into the world. I wish it were possible to celebrate with and congratulate all of you in person. Remember to thank your teachers and the support staff and the administration 
of your school who worked all these years to get you where you are today and helped guide you across this finish line in unprecedented times. It is a true blessing to have the support of a caring, thoughtful community around you. As important as this day is to you, I'm sure it's just as important to those near and dear to you. I regret that there were certain parts of your high school career and experience that you missed out on and certain memories you did not have the chance to make. The past 15 months have not been easy. I hope that you can take some solace in knowing that the memories you did make are unique and will shape you forever. As the poet Anne Bradstreet wrote, if we had no winter, the spring would not be so pleasant. If we did not sometimes taste of adversity, prosperity would not be so welcome. You have many prosperous days ahead. You will enjoy many springs. You will have your share of winters too. Go out with the confidence to meet those challenges knowing that you are grounded in your values, your community, your family, and a lifetime of education. An education aided by your school and represented by the diploma in your hands, but also crafted by your experiences. You are headed into a world that needs leadership, compassion, and integrity. You are headed into a world that will require diligence and yes, even some sacrifice. I wish you strength and courage in your winters of adversity that you may welcome pleasant springs. Thank you, Todd Lowen. Graduates, the past year has been challenging. To say the least, the COVID-19 pandemic will forever be etched in our minds for the global impact it has had. However, I am not here to commiserate about all that has been lost because of COVID, but instead we are here to celebrate your successes and achievements as the FHS grad class of 2021, despite the challenges it has created for you. I wanna praise you for your resiliency, grit, and determination to finish your schooling strong. Despite the disappointments you have all experienced, we, your teachers, are all so proud of the fact that you've persisted. You pushed through when you went online to conclude your grade 11 year and persevered when we intermittently went online in your grade 12 year. You have kept your eye on the prize of graduation and on your future goals and dreams. It might be hard to see or recognize now in the midst of these challenges, which is a life's, sorry, but you have built incredible tenacity to face adversity, which is a life skill that will undoubtedly benefit you into adulthood. I wanted to take this opportunity as your teacher, and now your principal, to highlight some of the life lessons learned during this past year in a bit. Number one, life is unpredictable. One day you were in high school learning, and the next day we embarked on a year and a bit of intermittent virtual education. The lesson is that life can change in an instant. Sometimes it's because of choices that you make, and sometimes it's completely out of your control, like what we've just experienced. We need to respond in a way that will align us in our values and not derail us from accomplishing your goals. You gotta sometimes roll with the punches and keep getting up and facing each day with reinvigorated perseverance. Number two, connection and relationships are everything. If this year has taught us anything, it's that real, true human connection is what drives us. Once you take that away, it becomes really clear that our life is lacking something. I always joke that once the pandemic is completely over, I'll be hugging everyone I meet, um, and for longer durations, that's then socially acceptable. Um, hang on to those that you love, and cultivate relationships that add value to your life. At the end of the day, that is what will last the test of time. Finally, number three, hope is your anchor. Everyone has at some point during this year said, when COVID is over, I'm going to dot, dot, dot. This has been a universal way for people to dream and hope for a better future that fosters love and joy. The ability to look to the future and dream what can be, can be used once the pandemic is over to push you through many of life's challenges. Let's do a little exercise together. In your head, fill in the blank with as many things as you can when I say, I hope that. I hope that dot, 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 dot. This could be to travel, have a family, become a nurse, see my grandparents again, climb Mount Everest, own a food truck. I've always wanted to own a food truck. Be the prime minister. Whatever this may be, it motivates us to create for ourselves a better, more whole life. This will without a doubt serve you in all stages of your life, young and old. 
My hope for each of you is that you find true happiness and purpose, that you pave your own path and not be swayed by those who have gone before you. Dream big and in the impossible. Be brave and don't worry if you don't have it all together or figured out because I will let you in on a little secret. Nobody has it figured out. Your future is bright, graduates, and I'm so excited as your teacher and principal to hear how all of your lives evolve. Each and every one of you has the capacity to do great things, and on behalf of Fairview High School staff, I want to congratulate you on your achievements and say how incredibly proud we are of you. We will now have each graduate walk the stage and present you with a scroll. Graduand, Brooke Avion. Brooke plans to attend McEwen University and take a degree in Bachelor of Commerce. Oops. Graduand, Jamie Bovere. Jamie plans to attend Northwest College in the Pharmacy Technician Program. Graduand, Lainey Burns. Lainey has been accepted to GPRC in the Bachelor of Education program with plans of becoming an elementary teacher. <laughs> Graduand, Zachary Burns. Zach plans to work for a year, then choose a university and enter an engineering program. Graduand, Seneca Butch. Seneca has not decided on any future plans at this time. Graduand, Ashley Castleman. Ashley has been accepted to the University of Saskatchewan in the Bachelor of Arts and Science program with plans of becoming a nurse. <laughs> Graduand, Derek Coates. Derek plans to enter the workforce after graduation. <laughs> Graduand Sean Craig. Sean plans to attend GPRC in the fall where he will work towards a Bachelor of Science and Education combined degree. <laughs> Graduate Paige Davies. Paige plans to attend GPRC where she will obtain a Bachelor of Education degree and become an elementary teacher. <laughs> Graduate Joelle DeLong. 
Joelle plans to continue forward with her education and find work in her field of interest and hopes one day to travel to see historic sites for their agricultural significance. <laughs> Graduate Madison French. Madison plans to attend Mount Royal University in the funeral directing and embalming program. <laughs> Graduate Rianne Friesen. Rianda plans to continue working for a year, then she will attend post-secondary in, in the child care field. <laughs> Graduate, Emily Gellich. Emily's plans after graduation are to move to Calgary and enroll in a eunuch clerk course. Graduand, Connor Greenhill. <laughs> Connor plans to enter the workforce after graduation. Graduate Bodie Johnson. <laughs> After graduation, Bodie plans to continue working, then enroll in GPRC in first year mechanics in the fall. Graduate Karsten Kirschbaumer. <laughs> Karsten plans to work for a year, then attend Nate in the Petroleum and Chemical Engineering program. <laughs> Graduate Kyle Kokosha. Kyle plans to attend GPRC where he will obtain a computer science degree. <laughs> Graduate Taryn Coyman. Taryn has been accepted to GPRC in the Bachelor of Science Nursing program. <laughs> Graduate Joseph Labby. After graduation, Joseph plans to enter the workforce until he decides on his future plans. <laughs> Graduate Alexis Lee.
Alexis has been accepted to GPRC in the Bachelor of Arts program. She'll also be part of the Wolves basketball team. Graduate, Caden McIntyre. <laughs> After graduation, Caden plans to apprentice as a welder or a mechanic. Graduate, Janae Moffat. <laughs> Janae has been accepted to Northern Lakes College in the healthcare aid program, working towards becoming a nurse. Graduate, Carter Murray. <laughs> Carter is currently enrolled in second year automotive surface technician program at GPRC. <laughs> Graduate, Dale Ponto. Dale's future plans include moving to a cabin, cabin and living off-grid. <laughs> Graduate Emily Richards. Emily plans to take a year off to work, then attend post-secondary in the field of social work. <laughs> Graduate Dade Scott. Dade plans to work for a year, then decide on his future plans. <laughs> Graduate Rory Sellers. Rory is planning, on, planning to attend GPRC where he will pursue an engineering degree then hopes to travel around the world. <laughs> Graduate Damon Snizarenko. Damon is currently apprenticing as an automotive service technician. <laughs> Graduate Haley Steeman. Haley has been accepted to GPRC in the Early Learning and Child Care Program. <laughs> Graduate 
Graduand Aurora Stensrud. Aurora will attend Northern Lights College to pursue a career in the field of culinary arts. Graduand Annika Stridehorse. <clears throat> After graduation, Annika plans to travel the world doing mission work and would eventually like to become a professional cake and cupcake decorator. Graduand Devin Taggart. <clears throat> Devin plans on attending SAIT in their hospitality management program. Graduand Chloe Watchorn. <clears throat> Chloe plans to upgrade for a year, then plans to pursue her career as an X-ray technician. Graduand Morgan Young. <clears throat> Morgan plans to attend GPRC in the parts and technician program. She will also compete in college rodeo. You guys look great. Graduands, please stand. Please move your tassel from the left to the right of your cap. I am pleased to present the Fairview High School graduating class of 2021. Congratulations. <laughs> Graduands, please be seated. This year's valedictorian is a very dedicated young woman. She's worked incredibly hard to demonstrate excellence in her classes over her high school career, and we are so proud of her achievements. Please welcome this year's valedictorian, Taryn Coyman. Good evening, family, facility, and fellow graduates. 
I'm honored to represent the class of 2021 today. As children, we had many envisions of what we would become. Often our family and friends helped to inspire our dreams for the future. Dreams to travel, dreams for, the fu for future careers, and many other dreams that would fulfill our desires for progression. Throughout the past few years, we have individually discovered and devoted ourselves to our passions. We have faced challenges and experiences that helped us learn and grow as people. In school, we learned how to collaborate with our peers in a constructive and open-minded way. Since last spring, we have all had to change from in-school classes and online learning multiple times. During this, we maintained a motivation to complete our courses and reach the end of high school. Amongst all the stress and struggles we faced over the past year, we per persevered to this point, graduation. I think that is something we should all be proud of. All of us will use what we learned from our time at Fairview High School to propel us into adulthood. For some of you, it's waiting to get out of school to truly f start feeling like you can enjoy your adult life ahead of you. For others, high school graduation was just the first step and only a small success to reach your aspired career. Soon, you're heading to a college, university, or apprenticeship training to prepare you for the career that is essential for you to enjoy your success. Today, all of us should celebrate what we have accomplished after many years of hard work, but also look forward with an eye to how we can be an inspiration for others so they too can dream about the possibilities in the future. Thank you. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Thank you, Taryn. Penny Pollock was a very special librarian who devoted 19 years of service to the Peace River School Division. Penny's library was a welcoming place. It embodied her generous spirit, positive attitude, and strong work ethic. She added so much warmth and personality to our Fairview High School community. Penny unfortunately passed away in May 2010, and soon after this, Penny's family set up a scholarship in her name. The recipient of the Penny Pollock Scholarship is a Fairview High School uh, grade 12 student, accepted or conditionally accepted into a full-time post-secondary program who demonstrates a positive attitude, persistence, determination, and a strong work ethic. I am pleased to present the 2021 Penny Pollock Scholarship to Aurora Stensrud. As mentioned before, Aurora is planning to attend Northern Lights College in Dawson Creek to pursue a career in the field of culinary arts. Hey, thank you. Our slideshow this year was put together by Madison French. Thank you for your hard work on this, Madison. Graduates, please direct your attention to the screen.
Okay. Can we take a moment to just appreciate how cute your faces were? Oh my, parents at home, so cute. Oh, sorry, I have to take a moment because that was like so cute. Um, okay, I would like to call upon Rory Sellers and Sean Craig to give the dedication to the staff. Hello, my name's Roy Sellers. My name's Sean Craig. And uh, while we're gathered here today to celebrate our accomplishments, it's also important to thank those who got us here, as it's their accomplishment too. Yes, it's our opportunity to show our appreciation for not only the teachers who helped us through everything, but also the other staff that aren't thanked enough. Not enough gratitude can be shown to the office workers, whether it be a nice packing desk for a moment or being behind the scenes on numerous school events. Nor can the janitors be thanked enough. Really, the things they've seen can't be thanked with words. So please, take this speech as our apology for all the messes we've made throughout our six years here. And of course, while I'm a bit biased, I believe that the EAs deserve more praise than they often get, as their contributions are often the deciding factors for many students' success stories. Though, for all of us, the most thanks must go to the teachers, who pulled us through K-12, to whether it be the rowdy and, and immature trials of elementary school, or the moody and drama-filled woes of junior high. And then all the way to our final days of our education in high school, where sometimes all that can be heard is our collective silence. They've seen us through thick and thin. Lunch hours, evenings, and weekends lost so that we could succeed. Hours of marking and grading our papers. So that we could locate where to grow and improve. And even the days where they'd much rather stay home, they still come in to help us continue our education. They aren't thanked enough for their invaluable advice that is not just limited purely to academic functions, but also their input on our futures. As the old saying goes, it takes a village. And to say that we got a good village would be an understatement. We hope our speech serves as a good indication of our gratitude, but we understand that in comparison to watching us grow and succeed as our own people, it is infinitely more valuable to the staff who got us through it all. So in the more sincere way, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Rory and Sean. That was sweet. Um, next, can I have Chloe Watchhorn and Ashley Castleman come provide the dedication to the parents and guardians? I'm Ashley Castleman. And I'm Chloe Watchhorn. Uh, dear parents and guardians of the graduating class, we would like to thank you for everything you've done for us in order, in order for us to be here today. We know you're incredibly proud of us for making it, but you should be proud of yourselves too. We wouldn't have been able to be standing here today without the countless nights you stayed up to help us with homework and always driving us to school or packing our lunches, or just buying food so we can pack it ourselves. Thank you for believing in me, especially when I didn't believe in myself, and always pushing me to be the best that I could be. Dad, thank you for helping me go through the painful search to find a new car after I rolled mine. And Mom, for being at every single basketball game and being our team's biggest cheerleader. Mom, thank you for going back to university when you were over 30 to show me that I should always work towards my dreams, even though it's not the same path that everybody else takes. And Dad, thank you for always trying to help me with my homework, even though most of the time I would sit at the table and cry over chemistry. We really appreciate everything you have done for us and sacrificed for us so we could be here today. As we celebrate our high school graduation that we have been looking forward to for years, the real biggest accomplishment is having our parents' continuous support throughout every up and down and the high school brings. Even though you can't actually be here for our graduation ceremony, which really sucks, 
We know you are all cheering us on from the other side of the screen. Thank you for setting us up for the life after high school in the real world. And thank you for letting us know that your arms are always open for when the real world gets too hard. A million words can express how grateful we are for you, our parents. You've gotten us through, gotten us this far, and it's time for us to take the next step towards our futures. Thank, thank you, you, Mom and Dad. Dad. Thank you, Ashley and Chloe. Just gotta find my spot here. Um, the graduation ceremony would not have been possible without the hard work of the graduates, families among others. The graduates would like to give a special thank you to the following people for their hard work and support. Jardin Lorenz and Pro Show Entertainment for live streaming and recording the ceremony. Miles Campbell and Campbell Dodge Chrysler for donating one rose per graduate. Kim Fix and Kimberly's Blooms for supplying the roses. Carla McLeod and Mad Dog Cresting for designing the apparel logo and lawn signs. Tina Gellich for spearheading and organizing the parade that's going on tomorrow. The Town of Fairview and Fairview RCMP detachment for their support of the parade. Graduation coordinators, Ms. Banak, Mrs. Zamata, and Ms. Morrow. They made this happen, they put it together. Mrs. Hemstock and Mrs. Whalen for behind the scenes work, because they were doing lots of that leading up to today. Ms. Dalkey for taking photos at the ceremony this evening and capturing your beautiful smiles. Madison French for creating the slideshow. It was awesome. That brings us to a close for the evening. Once again, we want to congratulate this year's graduating class on all of your achievements. You are all going to do amazing things in your future. And we can't wait to see how each of you forge your own unique paths. Thank you to everyone who is tuning in from home. We have appreciated this opportunity to celebrate our FHS graduates, and I hope that you have a safe and lovely weekend. We will now have our graduates exit the gymnasium before signing off. Have a great evening, and once again, congratulations to the class of 2021. <laughs>